Hello, I'm doing a movie review, and as you can see, I'm in a slightly different location. It's my room. Yes, um, here with me is my friend Eric, who you may have you seen do. him before. Um, he was in my Batman and Robin review. He reviewed that movie with me. God, um, that movie was bad. Yeah, and he has his own YouTube channel, uh, Dream Maker Productions. Check him out if you want. Check out my movie reviews. I do, I do them too. Yes. Now, Just um, did that happen now, the movie we want to review is The Evil Dead. Now, I already reviewed this movie before. I reviewed it a while back, but I recently took down my old review on it because I wasn't really impressed with my old review on the movie, so I decided to re-review the movie, and now I'm re-reviewing it with this young man. That's cool. Uh, even your more recent reviews don't impress me. Oh! I'll kill you later. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, the Evil Dead <laughs> is I'm yeah. <laughs> anyway, the Evil Dead is a independent horror film written and directed by Sam Raimi, mm -hmm. who of course would go on to direct movies like um, Spider Man. Uh, he directed um, Dark Man, A Simple Plan. I believe mm -hmm. he directed that movie, The Gift, with Keanu Reeves. And of course, his most um, recent movie was um, the hey, Oz and Great and Powerful. Yeah, the new uh, yeah, the new Wizard of Oz prequel. But he's probably more famous for the more recent Spider movies that we all know. Yeah, he probably his most famous works are probably this movie and, and the Spider, Spider Man, Man movies. movies. Yeah. Now, um. What was I going to say? Now, The Evil Dead also stars Bruce Campbell and is produced by Robert Tabor. And mm -hmm. what's interesting is Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, and Robert Tabor were all friends in high school. And, um, yo, and also the girl who plays Cheryl in the movie was also friends with them in high school. Mm -hmm. And they were all in college when they made this movie. This movie was filmed in 1979. And, uh... Bruce Campbell, I know, was only 21 when they made this movie, so, like, they yeah. were all, like, in college when they were, when they made this movie, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, and for an independent film made by a bunch of college students, it's, it's actually, yeah, it's actually pretty well done. Yeah. Now, um, I believe the film started out as, like, a short film called Within the Woods, but, um, really? I think they, like, expanded upon it, making it into a full-length movie. Probably. Um, yeah, the original title was going to be The Book of the Dead, but they ended mm -hmm. up changing that, and the reason they changed it is actually kind of a stupid reason. Um, Ooh, basically, <laughs> yeah, they, um, <laughs> they changed the title of the movie because um, some producer told them that if they kept it with the title The Book of the Dead, people would think that um, they would have to read the movie, and even though The Evil Dead is a pretty read cool... The movie? Yeah, but, but... Like, subtitles or something? I don't know, but, like, um, apparently some producer told them that if they kept the title The Book of the Dead, um, they would have to read the movie, and... Which, honestly, even though The Evil Dead is a pretty cool title, um, mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of a stupid reason to change the title of the movie, because who the fuck is actually gonna think that, but... Whatever. Now, now The Evil Dead was released in 1981, and, um, mm -hmm. yo, I believe it was released on, like, a limited release. I don't believe it got, like, a big, like, mainstream release until 1983, and, um... It became a cult classic. Yeah, it became a <laughs> cult classic. I'm not sure how well it did when it came <clears throat> out, though, um, because I remember in the audio commentary for this movie that Sam Raimi and Robert Tabor do, um... Yo, they talk about how it wasn't really to till this movie um, hit video where it really started to gain its audience. And yeah, so that way it probably didn't make a lot of money. Yeah, but now, theaters. of course, it's considered to be a cult classic, and mm -hmm. um, it went on to spawn two sequels, both of which are directed by Sam Raimi, and... Um, Yo, uh, it also spawned multiple comic book spin-offs, and mm -hmm. then there was a video game made based on the Evil Dead series, and now most recently, like, they're coming out with a remake to the Evil Dead, which, um, I, I will admit, when I first heard about the remake, I was like, oh, no, that's gonna yeah, suck. Yeah, same but, here. <laughs> but looking at the trailers, and I've heard, and I've saw reviews that people who have seen the movie already the, did, the and... The trailer looks amazing. Yeah, it actually does look like a pretty good remake, but, yeah. um... Um, yeah, let's... Uh, really looking forward to it. But yeah, let's get into The Evil Dead. Oh. Now, The Evil Dead is uh, is about a group of college students who, um, for like spring break or something, they go up to this small cabin up in the mountains and... 
what happens is while they're at the cabin, um, in the basement of the cabin, they find this book and a tape recorder, and mm -hmm. they play it, and according to the tape recorder, um, the person who was in the cabin before them was a college professor, well... Mm -hmm. I don't know if it says he was a college professor, yeah, but he was, some kind he was of, some kind of professor. Yeah, he was some kind of professor, and on an expedition, he found this ancient book, which, according to the tape recorder, is entitled The Book, book of, the of the Dead, Dead. and it's used for summoning demons, and basically, on the tape recorder, the professor reads off the incantations used for summoning the demons, and, mm. of course, none of these college students realize it, but right. it's actually over opening the gates of hell, hell. and yep. releasing these demons, <laughs> and um, eventually uh, the college students one by one get possessed by the demons up until only a young man named Ash is left, and now basically he has to defend himself against his, his friends, friends who are now yeah, um, turned into demonic zombies and shit. So, um... Yep. Yeah, that's the plot line of The Evil Dead. Now, <laughs> The Evil Dead, of course, is a great movie. Um, you know, it's a great horror <laughs> film, and mm -hmm. it's actually a pretty scary movie. Like, yeah. it's, you know... I was thoroughly impressed. Um, because it's been a while since you've seen it, right? Yeah. Um, I, saw, I saw all three movies right through about, like, two or three years ago. Have not watched it since. And revisiting it now... Really, really impressed with yeah. like the execution of uh, uh, the lighting, the setups, um, the, just the setting. The setting overall ha is so unique. Yeah, um, they use a lot of fog, <laughs> which really helps out a lot. I thought um, the lighting is very dark at some points, where it just like glimmers of light comes in every once in a while, and it kind of reflects off the fog and everything. Um, but if there was any critique that I noticed um, in the beginning, there's like two scenes that I thought may have went a little bit too long, uh, just to be you know an anal critic. But yeah. um, and also the acting, uh, the actors themselves are kind of kind of eh. Actually, you know what? I didn't mind the acting in this. I mean, because you gotta realize yeah. they were all college kids. Like yeah, this I is understand pretty much that. just a yeah. a film that a bunch of college kids made. Right. And honestly. Yeah. The acting in this is probably as good as you're going to get for a little independent yeah, film. Yeah, for, for college students that are probably like more technical savvy in filmmaking yeah. rather than actual theater type of acting. Yeah, definitely. I mean, God knows, um, the their acting in this movie is a hell of a lot better than my acting in <laughs> some short films that I worked on. It's a, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, but, um, yo, but yeah. the thing is, though, to me it actually is a pretty scary horror film, though, mm -hmm. because... Now, I first saw this when I was 14 years old, and at that age, it actually did kind of disturb me. Um, you know, and also, <laughs> I, I, saw, so. <laughs> I saw Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness before I saw this, so those were both okay. horror comedies, and right. I wasn't expecting it to be as serious as it actually was. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some cheesy parts in it, yeah. and some, some like, humor in it, but for the most part, it's a pretty serious it's, horror Yeah, it's film. a serious horror movie, and... Yeah. To be honest with you, it still holds up. I yeah, and it's after rewatching it, I gotta say it's one one of the scariest movies I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean I'll I'll admit that yeah. it's pretty chilling. Yeah. Now when the movie came out, I believe it was rated NC seventeen, or I believe it got rated <laughs> NC seventeen years later. But okay. I can definitely understand why it was yeah. rated that because. Of course, there's the infamous tree raping scene, which, um, <laughs> when I first saw that at age 14, I was like, whoa, I could have gone all day without seeing that. I mean, watching it now, I mean, it's not that bad, but I can understand why some people would be kind of disturbed by it. Mm, and yeah, of course. And I Sam mean, Raimi has even said that he's regretted putting the, the scene in the movie. Mm -hmm. But, um, thank God he's never pulled, like, a George Lucas yeah, or something. Yeah, and actually, like, digitally, re you know, change it or whatever. Yeah. Definitely. But, um... um oh, yeah, shout out. Uh, the makeup in this movie is phenomenal. Some yeah. of the best makeup you've ever seen. Like, like that, if you can see it. Yeah. That's a little example of what the makeup is like. And it's kind of cool. They have, like, a couple Indiana Jones melt faces moments. Yeah. You know, with stop motion and... and 
Oh, uh, it was just so good. Yeah. The makeup. The now, makeup really helped out a lot with the horror aspect of the Now, film. one thing I thought was interesting is the character of Cheryl, who is the characters of Ash's, Ash's sister. sister. And yep. when you think about it, she almost should have been the main character because it almost seemed like even before the supernatural things were happening... Supernatural it almost, stuff was happening to her anyway. <laughs> yeah, like it almost seemed like the demon specifically chose, chose her. her yeah. Like, um... So you almost, when you think about it, she almost should have been the main character, but it mm -hmm. ends up being her brother Ash who is the main character. But, um, yo, mm -hmm. Cheryl, she's a pretty interesting character. Like, they don't really give too much background to it, but... Which I wish they did, because Yeah, there's it something made about those... that character yeah. that, yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's just her acting or if they actually intended that. Like, there's something about uh... the character that, you know... Yeah, there's something about the character Supernatural going on, which I wish they explained a bit more. It was yeah. one of those things. Like I said, probably the weakest part of the film is the writing. The, I, um, you know, the writing's fine for the kind of movie it is, really. Yeah. But I liked... I kind of liked that. They could have um, went into it a little bit more. They could have developed the characters a bit more. Yeah. Uh, dialogue a little bit here and there. But yeah. overall, the character development could have been a little bit more. But for what you get, though, what's in the film... It's, uh, a, it's, it's a pretty it's bad a very minor film. critique yeah it's yeah. a very minor critique I mean like we said it's a cult classic and I think it still holds up and mm -hmm. I think it's one of the it's still I'll admit it's one of the best horror movies I've seen in a long time mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean this this right here is better than a lot of horror movies made these days yep <laughs> now uh, what's that's saying something yeah there. now what's interesting is one of the Cohen brothers actually mm -hmm. worked on this movie it was uh, Joel Cohen I believe and uh, he was an editor yeah he was the uh, assistant film editor or something and mm -hmm. this was right before their first the Cohen brothers first movie which was blood simple um, uh -huh. but yeah I, there's really not much else to say about this movie that hasn't no. already been said. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, next we're going to be reviewing the sequel, Evil Dead 2. So, if you get a chance to watch the original, watch it. Yeah. It's it, it's a good horror movie, and it still holds up even after all this time. And Like I said, it's better than a lot of horror movies nowadays. So, yeah, stay tuned for our review on Evil Dead 2, and See catch you, you later. See you in a bit.